Yo, what's up guys and welcome to day 22 of the Road to Glory. So, today's episode, where do we start? We've got Icon trading, we've got Inform trading, we've probably got a bit of Chemsel trading. We've got 6pm Rash investing, we've got 1 to watch Rash investing when they're playing well. And, uh, what else do we have? And the new, well, my new favourite player to sell on Lazy Buy is basically a really, really good money maker without having to do anything. So uh, yeah, do make sure to check that out. And we also have some SBCs, so enjoy the video. So to start this episode, we're reaping the reward of the last one. So uh, we got ourselves Kane right here, who we bought for 530, sold for 590. So we made ourselves um, just over, I think we made 30k, 30.5k on him. And Balak, who we bought for 5, sorry, 640, we just sold here for just a uh, shy of 700. Uh, and therefore the profit on this is going to be... So it's going to be 34, like 24k or something along the lines of that. And then we got an Inga and we're just selling on our uh, left backs, right backs, left mids, right mids, left wings and right wings because of the uh, most recent SBCs. So we got our first deal. Nothing actually too amazing looking at it because it's literally only like 10k. But we're going to go, uh, we've got stuff Coutinho for uh, 385. Going to be selling it for 415. Maybe even bang 420 out of it to be honest. But um, yeah, I'm still like uh, testing the war with it. And obviously we've got weak and sell off right now. So uh, yeah, obviously the 20k come with tax or... 20.5 or whatever. So we are probably only going to make like 10k off of it. But again, we're just trying things out at the moment. So uh, yeah, Coutinho right there. Got for 385. Finished at 415 and only make a very, very little 10k profit. So we have done a play that I'm actually very, very happy about. Because what was happening with Balak, right? Is ba there was a Balak listed for 160. And then there's a Balak about to end for 1 1. And I was there like, what's probably going to happen, right? Is this Balak is going to end for 1 1. And then he's going to go and undercut this guy for 160. And, uh, wow, it was good to see that the other guy was following the script, because, no joke, as the Balak ended, about 30 seconds later, he then went and listed Balak up four. If it would like to, uh, pop up. The game is broken. It's probably now not going to pop up. He then went and listed the Balak up for one million and twenty. Now, you might be like, but Dan, there's one up for 160. Basically, you've got to kind of understand the fluctuations of these cards. For example, Balak is, you know, consistently can be selling for 150 to 160 to 170, well, sorry, 1150 to 1150. 60 to 1170 and uh, so on and so on so of course there's gonna be 50k tax on him or maybe 60k but we only bought him for 120 so basically we're going to say 40k cheaper than um than the cheapest one on the market currently uh but again we're probably going to go this up for about 1150 which means even after tax we're probably profiting about 70k off that balance, which should be nice so what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to go and apply a all ads on um on the likes of what's it called we're going to go and apply an all-outs on uh, Balak because, theoretically, it will help him uh, sell a little bit faster onto lazy buyers. There is an argument with this, though, saying that you can't actually use plays and weakly with all-outs, but screw it. But yeah, we're going to go and list, uh, list them up right now for uh, 1450, if I'm not wrong. Uh, sorry, sorry, 11450. Uh, one one four nine. sorry. Uh, and yeah, that's going to be the uh, that's gonna be the plan of action. As I say, the all-outs, hopefully, will, uh, will help him sell on pretty nicely. I say right now... You've got to understand the fluctuations of the market. Right now, there are going to be a fair few cheapos on the market, but it is nothing too much worry about. I'm actually going to go probably 1149 just because he's undercut him. So I'm going to counter that and uh, undercut him even more. So, uh, yeah, say so profit on this is going to be really decent. Uh, it's about 50k. So, um, yeah, I think we're literally walking away this one with like a 60, 70k profit given uh, given whenever it sells on. So, yeah, that should, uh, that should be decent. So let's go and get that list up. I always have mad, mad paranoia whenever listing cards. But there we go. Um, and what we've decided to do is I've... When kind of buying an all ats, I've realised it's actually very, very hard to find the all ats. So what I'm trying right now is I've got to buy these anywhere from 1.7 to 2.5. Is I'm going to try and sell these attribute cards for like 4.2k and just see if they actually go and sell on. Just because I would... I don't know. I just... I, like personally, I found them extremely, extremely hard to go out and buy. So I'm going to be taking a bit of a punt and see... Can um, what's it called? Can we actually go and sell these on for lazy buyers? Just because they're a very, very awkward uh, consumable to one find because they don't let you individually find the consumables. You can't sell via like pace upgrades or dribbling upgrades. You literally have to search for all of them, and they're way, way more. So, yeah, the plan of action right now is to go and uh, try and sell a few of these on uh, lazy buyers and just see how successful we are with them. Not a mad deal, but it's just something I'm playing around. We've got an Ollie Watkins right here for twenty three point five. Should probably be able to sell him. Um, should probably be able to sell him for about twenty six. Yeah, it's nothing amazing. I mean, tax on this is going to be about 1k, so we're literally going to walk away with like 1k on this. But 
It's, uh, you know, so we're just trying out new players. Uh, obviously, him being fresh doesn't matter. The reason he's expensive because he's used for some of the National Pride SBCs. Probably not currently using the solutions, but it's just, uh, it's just made him a very, very rare card. So, uh, yeah, probably only making like a K on that, but, uh, or 1.5K on that, but it's, you know, it's a new player, so, you know, it's new, uh, new trading. Anything else popping up? No, nothing too interesting. In fact, that should actually sell relatively fast. So we're just sporadically looking at players to buy, and this Tag Lafico has literally just been listed for 11K. Tag Lafico is going for like 47K. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I say, like, we, we literally were like, you know, we were literally, we were, it was all there, you know? We were just on the play. We were just chilling. We just refreshed. We bought the player very fast, in all fairness, of it popping up. And we also missed out on 35k profit on a tag Lafico, which is uh, brilliant, but uh, is what it is. There you go. We we'll move on. Just picked up a uh, continue. Need list him. Demon Terry about him. Um, you can't see because it's sort of, like I say, obnoxiously big though. Box, but I quite like it. But uh, yeah, bought him for 385. Gonna sell him for 415. Applying a consumable. We're gonna make about 16, 17k after taxing him. Uh, we already do have a continue selling on, so obviously you don't want to get you know an armada of him because otherwise it could be a bit of a mirror selling. But, uh, yeah, not too bad. I'm going to go get that listed up and hopefully, uh, yeah, make some good money on him. So, I've had a few things selling on. we got Watkins selling on for 26, bought for 23. Uh, I've had all the Ingers selling on. And uh, we've got Bernard, who we got for probably about 3, 4, sold for 4, 5, 5. Uh, Lamar, I haven't bought anything under 5, sold for 5, 5. And uh, one of the attributes we bought for between 2.7 to 2, sorry, from 1.7 to 2.5, just sold on for a lazy buy for 4.2. So, they are coming around for a lazy, um, well, they're coming around. Balak's not bad, that's actually the cheapest Balak on the market right now, which actually sucks, because one actually sold for 1149, but this one might not sell because they had a consumable on, so people couldn't use it straight in Weekend League. Uh, Coleman hasn't sold on, we got a few Ingers, and of course we've got our two uh, Coutinho. So, yeah, got a few things uh, still left to sell on, but uh, yeah, we're not looking uh, too bad, because we're just, again, increasing our knowledge of the icon price. So, we've just gone and got this amazing snipe. Now, by the average eye, you'd be like, damn, he's a pleb for 10k, which is literally what my Twitch chat did, because none of them reacted to me sniping a player for 16k cheaper than he goes for. This guy goes to 26k. Again, the reason he's expensive is because he's used for advanced SBC. So, that is a nice little 16k profit on uh, on Ollie Watkins, who I think got a uh, hat trick. But as I say, he's, uh, he's a very expensive player. Uh, and yeah, got a nice little uh, snipe on him. So, happy, happy days. Okay, now, I listed him and completely forgot to uh, show you. Just got myself an Ollie Hawkins to 22.750. Going to be selling him for 27. Again, this guy's the really expensive guy for uh, League SBCs. Uh, and as I say, we know he kind of sells at 27 normally, so I'll buy him anything like 23 and under, because that will uh, that will make me a little bit of money. But sadly, nothing else is... Uh, we're having a bit of a mare with selling stuff on, but luckily we haven't got too many more deals to uh, take us out of pocket on coins. But uh, yeah, not looking bad. We're just relisting all that stuff. Still got a few hours till 6pm. Not that I'd imagine much will happen on 6pm of a Sunday anyway. So I didn't really record much of this for YouTube, but I just, oh, basically Ben Yedder's going to score a goal in the third minute. We went and bought all these for 160. Uh, the one problem with VAR, right, is VAR means there's like one minute of did the goal count or did the not goal not count, which makes you a little bit more hesitant. But when I got these guys all for 160, uh, so two there for 175, one there for 172. Uh, not quite sure what he's after tax. So when the chat with me, it was 16k. So I'll take a quick 16k. I mean, you know, I take about a year off my life um, because of how stressful it is, but yeah. Because he absolutely cascaded. So we've got a sold on them, which is lovely. Um, I'm still failing to sell any other card I actually managed to go and buy. But I'm going to show you Ben Yedder right now. Hopefully he's down uh, even more. Ben Yedder. And they've just conceded a goal right now, which means that Ben Yedder is not going to be looking too good. Um, yeah. I was on my 175 and I was like, bro, I literally looked at it for 180. Then look at 175, and there was, like, 180, there was, like, one page. Then you look at 175, and there was still a page for that, and it was just, as I say, dropping so, so far. So, wouldn't be surprised if he is about, yeah, 165. And now they've gone and conceded. So, uh, I don't know, they didn't. Apparently, they got, no, they got in, um, VAR saved. But, um, but, yeah, not too bad. Big update time. So, let's go for them right now. So, Hakimi bought for five, sold for six. All of these were bought for, what were they all bought for? 2.5k and under. I've now found my new favourite thing just to spam my tramps list and sell for lazy buyers. They are just amazingly. Did any of them not sell on? Or did I just, okay, no, I've still got a few not selling on. Uh, we've also got one loads of things on bids, so I'm going to walk you through them. 15, 15, going to be sold by for 18k. Uh, Watkins bought for 23, going to be selling for 27. Taglifico got for 42, going to be selling for 47. Malins were bought for 34, going to be selling for 41k. More Watkins, again, going to be selling for, um, what was it, 27k. So... Yeah, not looking too, uh, too shabby. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to list up too much, because we've got a uh, potential SBCs at 6, but it is a Sunday, so I'm not, uh, not ever, you know, I'm ever so, um, 
what's it called? Ever so... Basically, I don't think there's going to be anything coming out. So, uh, yeah, we're just getting game, just kind of bidding on the players, buying the players, and doing the deal. Just got a little deal right here. Uh, sniped up a little tackle of Fico for... I, I say sniped, so I was literally just going through the players. Uh, for 40... Uh, 5 can be selling for 47k, and therefore making ourselves... I don't know, a little bit of money. That is, I bet you there's, there'll be a second chance getting back in and in, because people will panic still, and then it'll rise again. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nothing on that, and ultimate scream. There actually are two new SBCs, what the hell? Rare gold pack, 25k pack. One English player. Oh my god, that's so easy. And it's going to be one Dutch player, isn't it? Uh, two Netherlands players, one Manchester United player, one Arsenal player. Okay. Well, Dutch Arsenal and Dutch Man United players would be the easiest thing to make money on. That's interesting. Wait, wait, is it one Man United, one Arsenal? There's money on, um... More money on Arsenal players, maybe? Is it a Dutch? Man United. How much are you? Chong. I mean, these players will fully do really well. You don't need them, but I bet you they'll do well anyway, because everyone's just going to go and buy them. Yeah, I'd be very surprised if Chong doesn't do well. I'll be honest with you. It's quite the punt, but I'd be very surprised if they don't do well. I know you don't need them, but I'd go with maybe Arsenal players, chat. I'm trying to think what has less. I'm trying to think what has less. Arsenal or United? What has a... Who has more good players? Dutch players in the Prem now. There's more money on, like, Man United and Arsenal, in my opinion. No one's pre-investing in Man United, have they? And Man United have been used for, um... Man United have also been used for this week's uh, marquee matchup. So, let's go Man United. 1k to 1.5. Screw it, let's go like centre back, something like that. God, there's a, there's a lot of them. Whatever, let's pay a k for them. I don't think it's madly risky. There's a there's a lot of Man United players though. Let me let me just double check this quickly. Uh, Scooby Doo, Manchester United, Mata. I don't know. It might be way too much supply for these players to even do well. Matter, 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 M A T A. Let me just look at the uh, let me just look at the supply. Manchester United, thank you for just waving on for hundred bits. Mm, nothing interesting. Uh, and then we're gonna go with Leno. Just gonna work out which has less. Both will have loads, I think. Both have lots of supply. Um let me check out Man United again. Hmm. Arsenal have less. Arsenal have less play cheap players by looks things. A lot of their players are non-rare, actually. Okay, 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 yeah. I'm going to go Arsenal players, I think. Premier League gold. I don't know if there's a mad amount of money on it, but... Yeah, I think the uh, I think if there is money, I think it would be on these. Who was kind of a little bit expensive in the first place? Uh, Kovacic. Oh, he's a left back though. Um, CDMs. Hmm. Trying to work out who's uh, pretty risk free to go with. Are these inflated yet or not? Um, not really at the moment. Let's go pay loads of Torres then for like nine hundred coins. Trim will be 10k soon. Yeah, he's like the most mainstream thing ever. Uh, Trey is 800 coins. I'm going to go buy loads of like a K, I think. I don't know. It kind of sucks a little bit. Cool though, there's packs and that, but I don't think uh, I don't think there's a mad amount of money on it. I think our money's on Arsenal players, in my opinion. Prem centre backs, chat. Pre There's actually money on Prem centre backs. Uh, let me go Arsenal centre backs. There'll be money on Premier League centre backs because there's three centre backs and everyone's going to use Prem teams. Yeah, there's money on that. 
Let me go centre back, even that's that's where there's money on. Yeah. There'll probably be money on Prem left and right mids. Prem centre backs and Prem left and right mids. Joe Gomez? No, 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 no. 150k and Ben Yedders. How much is Ben Yedder right now? Did he keep going up or did I did I sell too early or what? That's cool. Do they have a right mid? Uh, do Arsenal have left or right mids? Not really, no. Uh, Something we also went and bought is Ben Yedis. He scored again. So uh, we bought them all for... What did I buy them all for this time? 106, can it, does it tell me? No. Uh, I think I bought them for 160, 170 maybe? I don't know. Uh, yeah, probably bought them all for 170. So we made like 11k on that one, 11k on that one. Um... Like 21k on that one, and then probably like 8, 9k on that one. So not bad, another like cheap 40k. And then of course we're selling on our um, players right now. Now these players did really, really well because we bought them all for 1.2 and now they're selling for about 2.5. So some easy, easy double coins in them. Uh, and then some of the other players can do as well. So we've gone and sold on some players. We've got uh, Ollie Watkins, who again is that SPC god. Uh, we sold them for 26, all these are bought for 23 and under, and... Hey, we sold a few other players. Aki's we bought for 1.3, and Therese we bought for under a K. So they're looking good, and uh, yeah. Give you guys a little update on prices. All the Ake's we sold for 1.9, we bought for 1.3. The Lindos we bought for 1, sold for 1.2. So I've got Ollie Hawkins here for 26. Boy, made think uh, 23K and under. Might just get loads on bids. Um, and yeah, Bai's being sold for 1.2K right now. Therese being sold for 2.2. Two, two. Lindos for 1, 1, 2. So. Sale of the players we bought. We made about 30, 40k at 6pm. And uh, yeah, obviously hopefully making a bit of money on these. I also went and bought loads of chemstar trading to go and sell onto lazy buyers. Because they seem quite easy. Because there's a very cheap rare gold pack to be done. Uh, might go and do the SBCs right now. Though I'm going to go do a quick rotation of the uh, icons and inform. So uh, we've gone and sold on two more Watkins. That's like 2.5k a card. And these cards again, which I go and buy for two. We sold uh, well, no more than 2.5k. We sold two right here. Really, really good. I absolutely, I, just, I absolutely love these all trainings. They're literally such, such easy coins, you know. Obviously, a lot won't sell on, but, you know, they're a uh, yeah, pretty decent return. So, I'm, I'm probably going to go and buy a bunch of them so we can always have a full chance. So, let's keep and keep on selling them on. So, as you guys saw earlier, I sold a lot of these for about 4K. So, what we're doing right now is just picking them all up for 2K. I'll show you uh, the method I buy because, honestly, and the, the YouTube video might be this. These, for me, are one of the easiest things to sell on for lazy buyers. And there you go. Quote the title right there. Um, yeah, so, so easy. You can buy them so, so commonly for 2k. The filter I know is 1.5k to 2.2. I'll uh, then go scroll all the way to the end here. Now, it'll probably take you one or two minutes. Well, i say it'll probably take you one or two minutes. So we are going to have to waffle between now and then. Uh, you can basically pick up these cards anywhere from 55 minutes up to an hour. You can try and snipe them, but I, I find there's normally quite a lot of cards that stuff over an hour. So obviously it makes it quite hard to do actually go and snipe them. Uh, you can literally have 90 of these this at a time. They'll only also sell in the last few minutes. Now, they're like, oh, sorry, last 10 seconds. The reason they'll sell in the last 10 seconds or 30 seconds is because when someone wants an attribute, they'll just be like, you know, these are nightmare to find. I have to score to the fifth, ninth minute on, on stupid filters to find them. So, as a result, you know, no one can be asked to find them. You know, it sucks that they don't have individual filters, but, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah, basically, you just got to scroll all the way to the end here. Waffle, waffle, waffle. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's episode. I do apologise that the thing that's in the title is probably about 15 minutes into the episode. But, you know, uh, watch time. Am I right? I didn't put ads on yesterday's video. I don't know. I did a little experiment. But, yeah. So we are going to go and scroll all the way here to the 5th and 9th minute. Now, I'm looking to pay anywhere from 1, 5, to 2, 2, 2, 2. Don't really matter what you buy them for, in all fairness. Because, um, doesn't really matter what you can buy them for. Because you're going to sell them for about, you know, 4.2k anyway. So you can buy them after 3k if you really want. Um... Yeah, you can also try and win them on bids. Try to win some on bids earlier. Bid on 5 one, 1 for 2k, so that wasn't bad. But I find I get them cheaper and more often if I actually score all the way to the end. Now, if by magic, here's like the uh, the area where they'll be. <laughs> they're not going to be here, are they? For the purpose of for the purpose of an example, they're not here. But they'll be in the realm here and you'll be able to buy them for about 1.5 to 2k. Just very conveniently, I uh, wasted two minutes only for none to pop up. And again, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll like that. If you do want to bid on them, the easiest way to bid on them is just probably going like 2.2k maximum by now. Gold. And um, there you go. I mean, look, there you go. One pop on I'd say what? 
And I tell you what, this is going to be really good right now with Squad Battle Rewards. Um, and obviously the SBC, the SBC that kind of floods these on the market, generally once you put in a bronze team uh, for a rare gold pack, and obviously rare gold packs are going to flood these on the market, which is actually quite, well, I quite like stockpiling them right now because I think they'll be easier to stockpile right now. And then, uh, of course, you go and sell in the future. But yeah, we're going to bid on a few of these to 2k. I'd say it's, uh, you know, it's a really good time to go and pick them up right now, literally just because of the uh, Ultimate Scream SBC they're dropping. But you will see that although theoretically you think oh, I've bid on quite a lot, the win rate on bids actually, I, I you know I thought we get quite lucky here, but the win rate is uh, people for some reason want to pay. You know, look at that; they'll literally just straight up buy that for two point nine k, even though you can easily get it for two k. So yeah, it's a uh, quite high outbid rate, but yeah, not bad nonetheless. So we are going to be ending off today's episode, and uh, we're on a bit we're on a bit more coins, and uh, a player who I'm I must be sure must be the first or second or third thing. In the episode, is literally going to sell on the last thing episode, and that is Balak. Balak has been amazing, and it's time to get the old calculator up as always. So, Balak, we went and uh, have well, we just got and sold him right now for one one uh, four eight. So one one four eight zero 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 times this by zero point nine five. which is one mil and ninety point six. We're going to minus two thousand right now because we. Did apply an all ats on him. Minus what we bought him for, which is 1020000. Means we made a lovely 68k over on the likes of Balak. So, uh, yeah, not bad. Um, what's well, really weird, actually, is if I didn't apply chem cell, he actually would have sold faster just because of a uh, weakening hype. So, something maybe to keep in mind because not only do one, we make another 2k, but two, we might sell him faster. So, there's Balak selling on, giving me loads of coins to work with. Malin, who we bought for 34, so for 41, so we're going to make ourselves, what is it, 5k after tax. And Ingers, who we would have bought for 15 and under, sold for 18, so we're going to make ourselves probably about 2.7k after tax on those. So, not looking too bad. Uh, I might do a little bit of buying off stream with the likes of, um, with the likes of loads of attribute cards, because I think, you know, they'll be pretty easy to get on loads of bids and buy now off stream. Uh, what a few more things on transfers, actually. We've got these demo trays, the 24, going to sell them all for a 29, I'm pretty sure. So that should be like 1 point, sorry, 3.5k each. And we've got some more Tagliaficos for a 42, going to be selling them for 48k each, which is going to make ourselves probably about 3k and a bit per car. But yeah, not bad. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching today's episode. Really good way of making money. Uh, obviously, decent coins at 6pm. Um, ben Arthur, who I was looking to invest in, is actually up to 30k. I didn't buy him in the end, but I did recommend people to invest in, so I guess that's as good. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.